Right, okay, I swear if I don't get it right this time, I'm going to give up trying to narrate this battle because it's just not meant to be, I'm sure. So many things have gone wrong about this. I had a phone call which interrupted me, knocked my camera on the floor, I nearly broke my 3DS. Anyway, so this is a battle against uh, the second coming, Jesus from Zap CPX. And 5th uh, gen, but neither of us have any 5th gen Pokemon because we're pro like that. Um, goes for Taunt, because I'm going for Stealth Rocks, predicting, you know, I mean, the Taunt was predicting my Stealth Rocks. And, uh, see, <laughs> this, ah, oh, totally throwing me off my narrations. Anyway, Earthquake, Focus Punch, blah, blah, blah. Uh, probably predicting the Switch, but I'm not going to Switch because Swampert is amazing and can kill anything. Okay, obviously it can't, but whatever. So anyway, I see that it's about a two hit KO, maybe three, but some perk can live, so I stay in to go for it, and goes, he goes for the me first, and it does nothing, or next to nothing. Doesn't even activate my citrus berry. And yes, I am using a citrus berry, but because I'm Gen 5, I have like no items. I've got a life orb and leftovers, and that's it. So anyway, I go for the second earthquake to finish it off, because after life orb recoil, it's definitely gonna die. And he goes into Licky Licky, and I have no idea what this wants to do, I've never even thought about using one, or never battled one before. So I switch into my Dust Noir to take um, whatever it's going to do, because I'm predicting a grass move of some sort, and it's a swamp up. So, yeah. Oh, it's the second time like, with this battle, because the first time we disconnected, and on the first battle, got a crit here. Which doesn't really matter when you see what happens in a minute, but yeah. Yeah, so uh, he switches into Wooty, the uh, Blissey. Yay, Blissey! And I go for the Pain Split, and that's why the crit didn't really matter. It would have helped me a bit, really, because I would have got more damage on the Bliss, and I'm pretty sure I still would have recovered up to full. So, yeah. I go for the Pain Split, get my health back, leftovers activates. I would put this in time to, times two, but then I can't have audio, and I, my microphone's broken, so then I couldn't narrate. So, anyway, he goes to the top seat to try and get my Dust Noir, and it misses. I go for the Will O Wisp, and it misses! Double miss! Yeah, life, o uh, life overs? <laughs> that would be a great item. Not really. Anyway, leftovers activate, get some health back. I get fed up of trying to deal with this bliss because that's a. Uh, yeah, that's not what I want to take that down. So switching to Scissor, which has super power, but goes to the Thunder Wave and paralyzes Scissor, which totally wrecks my Scissor because it's all about speed. Yeah, more leftovers. And in the turn stuff. So predicting my fighting type move, he withdraws and sends in his Torkoal, and I absolutely hate this Pokemon. Half my team is weak to fire. I've got a Butterfree, I've got a uh, Shaman, and this Scissor, which will all die to a decent fire attack, except maybe the Shaman. So yeah, so I'm going to switch, and my plan at the moment is switch into Missy, get up the Aromatherapy to clear Scissor's Paralysis so that it can be more useful again. And yeah, just go with that. So that's what I do. And uh, yeah, switching to Bliss. Goes for the Willow Whiff and it hits this time. But I swear, honestly, if you ever battle me, it's probably best not to use Willow Whiff because it never hits. That's the only time Willow Whiff has hit me. In Gen 5, is just my gen because I've battled. I've only had a couple of battles in it. I've been hit by Willow Whiff like once and, all, and it's been used like 10 times in all these battles. Ridiculous. So he goes for the Protect, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to have the Aromatherapy to cure Scissor. I don't really care about the Blissey Burn because, you know, it can take it. It can take it. And I've got Softball and Leftovers, so a bit of a damage at the end of each turn isn't really going to bother me. So yeah, we both get our Leftovers. Stuff's happening. I'm thinking of anything to take out this Torkoal. So I go for the Shadow Ball with Serene Grace, hoping to get the drops. Thank you Xerxes for that, by the way. Such a brilliant strategy. Oh, hit by Willow Whip again. Ignore my rant about not using Willow Whip then. I must have missed this on the battle, because we were talking on the chat at the same time, and really bad connection in my room, so I can't battle and see the computer screen, so I'm going back and forth between the passage in my room. So yeah. Pointless information, but I'm just rambling on, needing something to talk about while this battle goes on. Because, yeah. I can't speed it up, because no audio then times two with the Windows Movie Maker or Windows Live Movie Maker, whatever it is. It doesn't work. And I see after how much Shadow Ball does, I'm just going to go for the... Uh, what's it called? Seismic Toss. To do the da it would do more damage that way. But, yeah. 
not much to say really, but I'm trying to think of a way to take this talk out. I mean, the only thing on my team that can really do it is either Swampert or Dustin War. But I don't want to switch into either one of them and get them burned, because I don't know if he's going to willow this again. So just stay in, Seismic Toss, try and kill it, protect, leftovers, burn, all this and that, stuff going on. I'm drinking tea as well, by the way, so excuse me. Okay, so withdraws Torkoal, sends in Aerodactyl. I'm not really sure why, but probably just because I didn't want to lose some of Blissey, because eventually Blissey was going to win that battle. Plenty of P PP for Seismic Toss, so you know. Leftovers. And then burn! And I'm still above 500. Oh, wait, no, below 500. Ah. Oh well. So yeah, my Blissey's defences aren't that great, so I don't want to take a hit from my Adaptal, so I switch into Swampert, who I'm pretty sure I can take it, because Swampert's beef. But he goes for the Fire Blast for some reason. I don't know why I went for that on Blissey, but... Seeing that, I get annoyed again, because like I said, half my team is weak to Fire. Two of them would die to any Fire hit. The only one that could live a Fire hit would be my Shaman. And then he switches into Hariyama, which I don't know why I didn't switch into this on my Blissey, because it's so much more effective there. But this thing really scares me, because I don't want to lose my Blissey. It's my go-to girl for anything. Like, if I don't know what to do, I'll just switch to Bliss and soft boil off until I've figured out a plan. But I used this turn to get my Star Fox up, thinking, you know, we'll see what this Hariyama wants to do. And I see the Flame Orb, so I know that eventually this thing will die if I can just stall it out. But he kills my Swampert, and I'm kind of sad at that. I like my Swampert. I don't really want any of my guys to faint. But oh well, what can you do? It's part of the battle. So now I send in Shaman. After seeing the Flame Orb, I think, you know, I don't know what to do with this. I can just Flame Orb, Leech Seed, slowly get it down. My Shaman has Rest and Lumberry, so I can live a couple of hits with that. But he switches into Blissey. Uh, I went for Siege there on that turn to see how much it would do, because obviously if it's going to kill it, I'm not going to need to sit in with the Leech Seed and the Burn and wait for all that to do it. I'm not going to need to stall. It's kind of pointless. But yeah. Siege there did quite a lot of damage, and I think maybe I can take it out in two more hits. But I know Blissey has Soft Boil. I mean, it'd be stupid to have Blissey without Soft Boil. So I go for the Leech Seed, because there is nothing better to get a Leech Seed on than Blissey. And he goes for the Thunder Wave, and, but like I said, I've got Lumberry, so... That would cure that, but that wastes my rest Lumberry, which is what I like. But yeah, oh well. What can you do? So I get some Leech Seed, but I don't recover anything so I'm on full health still, but... You know, it's nice to see that Blissey takes some more damage, so I can slowly get rid of it. So I go for another Siege Flare, because hoping for the crit to finish it off, I'm pretty sure the crit would kill it from there. But nope, no crit. And there's the Soft World, so now I'm... I don't know what to do, I mean... I can't, I've only got seven, no wait, no, six Siege Flare PP left here, so I can't just sit in and Siege Flare all day waiting for something to happen. So, I'm just going to switch out, and I switch in, all right, Leftovers, and Leech Seed, and all that lot. And I honestly have forgotten, I had this battle yesterday, and I've already forgotten what happens, so, yeah. So, like I said, I switch out, I go, I'll go, that's right, go into Scissor for the Super Power to KO Bliss. But he also switches, I don't know why I went for that. But the switch is great for him and I see this damn Torkoal again. This damn one fire type Pokemon that just messes with my head because I know it can kill half my team. Well, yeah, more than half my team now that I've lost Swampert. Three out of my five guys this will kill. But I see it's also low on HP. So I go for the Stab, Technician, Life Orb, Bullet Punch. And it just doesn't kill. But goes for the Will-O-Wisp and misses again. Oh, like I said, I have the luck with this move. Will-O-Wisp is just amazing against, like, uh, dodge it all the time. So I don't want to, I don't think a second bullet point will kill it seeing what's in the first time after it's leftovers. So I switch out into the Blissey, especially not after the burp. Oh, wait, no, missed the yeah. Anyway, what am I chatting about? Ignore me! So yeah, switch out to Bliss. So my plan is to soft boil, aromatherapy, and then just keep seismic tossing until this thing dies. Do, 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 